Hey everybody, here's part one of our series on stroke reduction. Today's topic is gonna to be the forehand. We will be going over basic mechanics and techniques for starting out. Stay with us, hope it helps you out. So let's talk about grips. Obviously, there's a bunch of different grips. You have your continental, you have your eastern, you have your semi-western, and you have your full western. Here, we like to start out um, our beginners with a semi-western, and here's the easiest way to find it. So if you go ahead and you place your racket on the ground, palm face down, and just pick up the racket, that should put you in a semi-western grip. Okay, so here at High Performance, we break the forehand down into three steps. I have Enrique here, who's gonna help me demonstrate uh, and shadow the stroke. So to start, he's gonna have a wide base. I want his knees bent, racket out in front. Step one, he's gonna make a pivot. He's gonna turn to the side, step out with his right foot. The racket is up, he's kinda looking at it like it's a mirror, okay? And the left arm is extended so that we make sure he turns his shoulder. Okay, step two, he's gonna step forward and he's gonna place his racket down. Kind of like he's patting a dog, um, palm face down. So for step three, he's gonna follow through and he's gonna transfer his weight from his back foot to his front. Okay, so for this first exercise, we're gonna start to develop a circular pattern with the forehand. So Enrique here, he's gonna take his racket, he's gonna place it on a wall, a curtain or a windscreen and he's gonna start to shadow a C-shaped forehand, taking the racket back, down and up. Okay, so we'd have a circular pattern, back, down, and up. Okay, so exercise number two, we call this one buddy system. I'm gonna be tossing the ball to Enrique and he's gonna focus on those three steps that we already talked about, the pivot, the sit, and the lift. Uh, I will be tossing it to him from like kind of close, so hopefully he won't kill me. We're using regular balls, but if you have an orange or a red, we suggest that one. Here it goes. Exercise number three, we call Alley Rally, and Ricky's gonna be playing for the clip. Okay, so the focus here is to control the ball into the alley. As you can see, Enrique is following all three steps, a pivot, a sit, and a lift, and his goal is to hit every ball straight down the line. Um, this is the blueprint for the forehand that we teach here at HP. Um, if you follow the steps and keep practicing, we really think it's going to help you out. So remember guys, hustle, hit, and never quit. Keep putting in the work, keep putting in the effort, and you'll be cranking forehands in no time. <laughs>